Be careful when returning entities from your web API, as this can expose sensitive data. The typical solution to this is to use DTOs. DTOs, or data transfer objects, are simple objects that are used to transport data between the web API and the client. The idea is to avoid exposing our internal models and only expose what the client needs. This is convenient for several reasons. The first one is information security. You don't expose information you don't want to expose, but also efficiency, because the less data you move around, the faster the application is. Let's look at a simple example. As you can see here, we have this user class, which is an entity, which has ID, name, email, and password hash. Oof, password hash. Of course, we don't want to expose that, even though it is a hash. Therefore, we create a DTO. In this case, we have this user DTO class, which only exposes ID, name, and email. Then we create some mapping logic. For example, we can put it in this class, user mapping. To DTO, we receive a user and we return a user DTO. Now, in a controller, we can do the following. We can say that we have a list of users. Of course, we're going to pretend that this comes from a database. And then we do user select, we map to DTO, and then we do a to list and return the list of user DTOs. And therefore, we are being efficient and also we are protecting the password hash of the user. If you want to learn more about building applications using Spironet Core and Clean Architecture, buy my course today. More details in the description of this video. Thank you.